We're gonna do a demonstration on how to use the software that we use for the Nissan Leaf to figure out uh, values, temperatures, or any stuff that we can. First, uh, we're gonna show you around inside the vehicle. We're gonna have the vehicle on and we're gonna have a, a Bluetooth transmitter that looks just like this. Underneath where the OB2 port goes, underneath there somewhere. Alright, then we're gonna go towards the computer. And we're gonna log in using this instructional computer. It's still 3 plus. Take some time. Always wear your safety glasses. You don't work in the computer. Now it takes a while for it to connect. Once you see the what's the GI, the number, we're gonna see its status, the uh, normal more wireless connection. And then from there we can go to either maintenance, reprogramming, configuration, diagnosis all systems, diagnose one system. For today we're gonna click diagnose all systems. And it's gonna read the van, it's gonna match it, we're gonna confirm it with the vehicle, and then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna see if it's the same one. We're reading 0057, then we're gonna go back to the van and check. We have here zero five seven seven, so we are good. And it's a uh, Nissan Leaf two thousand thirteen. Now we we're gonna click over here confirm, and it's uh, it always takes a while to load. Cut this out. Yeah. Positive. So you see it's loading now. Now we're gonna move on to the smart board that we have here. And it's still communicating. Now that we have this, we get, it's gonna read all the modules that it has. It's gonna tell us if there's a code. So far, when the green means no DTC, no the troubleshooting code, HVAC, we have no support for all DTCs, it's all good. Third one, station, no support for self-diagnosis. It tells you what, what it can do, what it can't. Now we can look at the high voltage battery, we'll click on it. And then it's gonna tell us if we have a code in it or not. And say we wanna look at some data, a monitor, some data, we'll click a data monitor. Uh, we, can, we have options here, the options we have, these will be all like the cell, the cell boxes that we have here. We can click on battery, electric current. We can click on the cobalt battery, we can click on and you can switch over here with these arrows to move on to the next one. All these is just the cell voltage, so we're just going to move forward. And then total battery voltage, you probably want that. Uh, maybe maximum cell voltage and uh, minimum cell voltage. And then we go to, if you want to get rid of these and restart, we click up here monitor. But since we have what you want, we click on start. And we're going to have a display of what we've chosen. Battery, electric current, cobalt battery, total battery voltage, maximum cell voltage, minimum cell voltage. Right here, and here's the values. A will be amperage, millivolts, volts, millivolts, millivolts. So saying each millivolt, uh, 1000 millivolts is one volt. So we're looking at right here like at 4 volts, 4 volts, 380 volts, 12 volts, because 12,000 millivolts is equal to 12 uh, volts. Also the amperage, you see you're reading about 6. 6.5 to play amperage and we can also go to either single list or line graph so we can see it go up and down here it's, it's just like you're in a hospital you see your heartbeat you see it go down or go up Merkle going back to Merkle and then we click on And if you want to get rid of what you chose, it, you just click it again, click this one, click this one. Just click the ones you, you chose. It. And we can leave battery electric current, and then we go to start again, and it will just go back, and all we're going to have is just, uh, electric current right here. And we we'll switch it to line graph too. And that concludes our data monitoring for certain things. You can do this for other things too. Not just the battery voltage, we've done also for the HVAC system, the temperatures, how much uh, draw, currents, uh, we figured out the current by doing the formula, find out the voltage and the volts, and it's, it's pretty straightforward, it's like using a, like a regular scanner. Thank you.